one spike is on a dyno. USB is connected to PC. Ignition comes on. After ignition, go ahead and start up the software. Once software pops up, it'll display low RPM. Once the bike is up and running and above 1000 RPMs, ZAFM module will start to warm up. Once the unit is ready to go, ZAFM will start displaying air fuel ratio. There is a diagnostic feature on the software. Once you click on the tab, it'll display TPS, throttle position, RPM, and ZAFM. It'll indicate whether it's okay or a malfunction occurring. Okay, before starting your mapping, go ahead and set your targeted air fuel, which in this case we're using a 13.2. The next step is to go ahead and clear all data that's stored in the memory. Uh, it's recommended to use track your RPM just so the blue cell will follow in what RPM and throttle positioning you are actually in. The next step is to go ahead and hit start. In this case, we're starting at 10% uh, throttle opening at 3000 RPM. Go ahead and keep mapping all the way through that throttle opening. Next step is to go ahead and start mapping at 20% throttle opening. Recommended to start at the same starting point every time. Go across the board until the bike no longer could accelerate on that throttle opening. Meanwhile, the ZAFM is uh, giving you the suggested uh, values you would need to enter into the main mapping section. Now it's coming back around, we're going to go ahead and do 30% throttle. Go across the board until the bike no longer accelerates in that throttle opening. Whenever you see an empty cell and it's covered in green, it means it has recorded data but no value is suggested. When mapping, you want to go ahead and continue the process until you finish 100% throttle openings. Keep in mind, it is suggested to use the TPS dial gauge on our software to keep track of your throttle openings. Once you are finished mapping, go ahead and stop the ZAFM from recording any type of uh, information. Uh, in this case, I have hit apply. It'll show you a warning saying that the data needs to be re retrieved first before you go ahead and apply any of the values. Once you have hit retrieve, it pulls all the data off of the memory. Now you can go ahead and hit apply. What, by hitting apply, it has applied all the, va all the suggested values into the main map. As you can see, we toggle back into the main map and it has applied all the values that it has suggested. Once you have completed mapping the bike and verifying everything's working correctly, you can go to save to disk and it'll save your map onto your computer. So if you ever want to reference that map at any later time or share with a friend or for any reason come back to it, you can pull it off of your PC. So we just have showed you the basics of the Bizazz Performance product. Keep up to date with Bizazz Performance products by visiting our website at bizazzperformance.com.